Okay, this video is on, um, we're not going to do unit conversions, but we will be doing the middle section, which is manipulating variables. We'll not worry about the mode of notation. But the basic rule is that you can move anything from one side of an equation to the other side of the equal sign by performing the opposite function. For example, if you want to move b squared to the other side, we do the opposite function that it's, it's attached to. a squared plus b squared, the opposite is minus b squared. And now the new formula would be c squared minus b squared equals a squared. Or, if you want to get rid of the square, the opposite function of a square is the square root, and you would do that to everything on both sides, this would go away. So let's take a look at some of the rules. Okay, the first rule, if you have equation with something in the denominator and everything else on top, you have to move the denominator first. So that's the first rule. So this is stuff divided by f. So the opposite function would be to multiply by f on both sides. Another rule of denominators is that if, let's say I'm asking you to solve for t. We need to get t on one side of the equal sign and everything else on the other side. But t is in the denominator. If what you're looking for is in the denominator, you need to get it out of there first. So the moral of the story is no matter what, get rid of the denominators. Okay, next rule next thing we need to do is move all the variables we'll ignore that <laughs> that do not share denominators, so there's that denominator rule that are separated by a plus or a minus. Here's an example I think there's an example, there we go I would like you to isolate the A and move everything else to the other side. So we have A times T or VI plus those. Which one does this rule say we should do first? Move the variables that are separated by a plus or a minus. So we would do minus VI on both sides. VF minus VI equals AT. And now you can do the final step in solving for A. The next rule, move denominators before you move numbers that multiply. So here we go. We have, if we need to say solve for V, well, should we move the M or the two first? And this thing we always, once again, back to the denominators. Move the denominators. This is divided by two, so we will multiply by 2 on both sides. The next rule, separate now numbers that multiply. So if we now have 2ke equals mv squared, and just to remind you, we're looking for m. Separate numbers that multiply, this is m times v. The opposite would be to divide by m and divide everything over there by m. And these are gone. Finally, the last step. Eliminate exponents or radicals. Now these are gone. The square kills the square root. And now we're just left with our answer. 
Velocity equals 2 times kinetic energy divided by mass, all square rooted. Let's try an example. So here's three different problems. Solve for the given variable, pause the movie, and then I'll show you the steps and the answers. So if you're not ready, pause because here they are. Velocity equals distance over time. I need to move the T out. And these are gone. And now I can solve for T. But you needed to get it out of the uh, denominator. Time equals distance over velocity. This one we did in the sample. So we need to solve for G. Let's move the other two. MH, MH, PE equals divided by MH equals G. Solve for A. First, you have to move the one separated by the plus or minus. Minus VI squared. Minus VI squared. Now you've got V final squared minus V initial squared equals 2. A D divided by 2D divided by 2D and we're left with acceleration A equals that stuff F equals MA solve for M divide by A M equals F over A solve for W minus Q minus Q W equals U minus Q. There's an entire uh, section on the um, called Algebra Review that you can do for more practice.